Hello everyone, it's Dr. Minde here. We continue with a um, series of connective tissue and I just want to finalize this. So there's connective tissue proper, which we had already said, is classified into loose or dense connective tissue. Example of loose connective tissue, we have the embryonic mesenchyme as well as mucous connective um, tissue. Then we also have areola tissue, adipose tissue and reticular tissue. Then the dense connective tissue, we have dense regular and dense irregular so um, the loose connective tissue yeah we start with areola and as any other connective tissue we said you start by saying we have cells examples fibroblasts macrophages mast cells and white blood cells that are within the, the tissue and then we have extracellular matrix that is gel like and we also have fiber so what's the function of areola tissue it wraps and cushions organs and then it also contains macrophages that will protect the connective tissue from microbes and it plays an important role in inflammation so again it holds and conveys tissue fluid so those are the functions to hold and convey tissue fluid inflammation okay because of the immune cells it has macrophages that will phagocytose bacteria and it wraps and cushions organs so name four areas that contain loose areola connective tissue we have the lamina propria mucous membranes the packaging of organs and it's also surrounding capillaries so you'll have cells and matrix matrix within matrix you'll have fiber collagen fibers elastic fiber and you can see this reticular fibers the thin fibers this is a macrophage an irregular cell this is a fibroblast okay remember we say the spindle shaped with a flattened nuclear you have a mast cell here okay with granules within the cytoplasm this is a fat cell remember we said it has a large um, fat lobule that pushes the nuclear to the edge and it has a thin rim of cytoplasm and these are blood cells which we will discuss Next is the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue will have um, um, closely packed cells. So these are adipocytes as we have described. Adipocytes, they contain fat. This is fat. Fat does not take up stain, so it will look white or clear. And then it pushes the nuclear to the edge and the cytoplasm is scanty. So you have a thin rim, this purple, a thin rim of cytoplasm. So what are the functions? It provides reserve food fuel so for energy and then it can insulate against heat loss fat always provides insulation prevents you from losing heat and then it supports and protects organ you have fat cells around uh, fat adipose around the heart for example so where do we find adipose tissue name four areas that contain adipose tissue we have the hypodermis of the skin around the kidneys we have it within the eyeball within the abdomen surrounding the organs of the abdomen and then in the breast so those are the areas this is the breast you can see the pink is adipose tissue and these are mammary glands we have two types of adipose we have white or yellow adipose and brown so the white you have a single large fat droplet within the cytoplasm it pushes the nuclei and flattens it within the side and we have a thin rim of cytoplasm then we have a brown we have brown adipose tissue that is rich of vessel in the tissue and it has several small droplets of fat within the cytoplasm and the nuclei is usually located in the center so those are the differences we go to reticular fiber you have a network of reticular fiber these black are reticular fibers okay and then of course you still have your your ground substance and reticular cells within the network the function is usually pro it provides a soft internal skeletal or stroma okay where it helps to support other cells such as white blood cells mast cells and macrophages so it's mainly found in immune organs or lymphoid organs to support immune cells so examples of immune organs you have lymph nodes we have the bone marrow we have the spleen so those are the sites where you have reticular tissue lymph node bone marrow and spleen we have dense regular connective tissue okay dense you have lots of connective tissue and regular the connective tissue is arranged parallel to each other one on top of the other so look here these are collagen fibers these are collagen fibers and you can follow one so they are arranged parallel to each other okay and a few elastic fibers are present these are fibroblasts spindle shaped cells with flattened nuclear what are the functions of dense regular connective tissue they help to attach muscle onto bone like 
a tendon, help to attach bone to bone like ligaments, and they're able to withstand great tensile strength that is applied in one direction. So a muscle, the pull of a muscle acts towards one direction. So it helps to organize this fiber in one direction. That's why it's regular arrangement. So we find it in tendons, ligaments, and aponeurosis, which are flattened portions of, of uh, muscle. So a good example of aponeurosis um, is aponeurosis of external oblique um, abdominis muscle, where the infolding of this aponeurosis forms the inguinal ligament. Then we have dense, irregular connective tissue. Dense, lots of fibers. Irregular, the fibers are haphazardly arranged. Irregular, okay? So these are still your fibroblasts, flat, spindle-shaped. Spindle means they are wider at the center and then they taper off at the edges, become thin at the edges. So these are fibroblasts and the fibers are irregularly arranged. So you have irregular collagen fiber. You'll still have some elastic fiber, but the major cell type are the fibroblasts. It's able to withstand tension um that is exerted from many directions so when you bring tension from left right center everywhere that's why the fibers are irregularly arranged so where do we find this name four areas with dense irregular connective tissue okay this will come in your steeplechase exam medical students bsc in your cbt so you have fibrous capsule of organs and joints and the dermis of skin as well as submucosa of the digestive tract then we have elastic tissue Okay, this block that you can see, these are elastic fibers. So they, they usually contain dense, regular connective tissue with high elastic fiber. So these are elastic fiber. This is an elastic artery, commonly the aorta. It has abundant elastic fibers. When you hear elastic, anywhere you have elastic, it means there's elasticity. You can stretch, you can recoil back to original shape and size and you can stretch, okay? So like for the aorta, it's pumping blood from the heart. So it should be able to be pulsatile. So it can stretch and recoil, stretch and recoil as you pump blood. Okay. Also, it's in passive recoil of the lungs. So even the lungs have that. So where do we find elastic fiber? The large arteries such as aorta and the branches of the arc of the aorta. So this is the arc of the aorta. You have the brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid, left subclavian. So those have elastic fiber, elastic uh, tissue. Then certain ligaments, such as what we call ligamentum nuci, this ligament is at the tips of the spinous processes of the cervical vertebra. Then you also have walls of brachial tubes. So, given the previous outline, you need to be able to know the tissue types, classify, and know the examples in the body where they're located. So like this one, what did we say this is? Okay, remember, we have fibers there, you have your ground substance, you have fibroblasts, this was areola tissue, okay? So it's loose connective, loose areola connective tissue, and you need to know where they are located, okay? In all the mucous membranes, for example, when you see a clear cell, white fat deposit pushes to a cytoplasm to the outside rim, and the nucleus to the edge, so that's an adipocyte, and you need to know adipose, and you need to know where it's located, okay? F fibroblasts with collagen fibers arranged parallel to each other so that's dense regular connective tissue like in tendons ligaments and aponeurosis so you need to tell me what is Marfan syndrome what is ehler danlos what is osteogenesis imperfecta okay which one has brittle bones because of impaired collagen synthesis which one has um, uh, um, what increased elasticity within the joints and so on and so forth so you need to know what is defective in these conditions medical students yeah Thank you.